Now, our beloved Knicks have had a great start to the season, and so far we've seen them have great camaraderie with everyone on the team, good vibes so far, and there's also a healthy mix of just competition at every single position that keeps guys on their toes. And the main Nick that has showed up so far has been Julius Randle, as we all know, looking like baby LeBron out there, averaging 23 points, 12 rebounds, 7 assists. Jesus. I mean, he's really found a flow within Thibodeau's offense as he's the main decision maker. But unlike last year, we don't see him fall into that same rut of just dribbling the ball into a dead end zone or making a bunch of stupid mistakes. Because in the previous season, only 20 other guys in the NBA had more turnovers than Julius Randle. So it was a major adjustment for him to be the main guy in an offense in which the Knicks didn't really have a system in place. But this season, we're seeing Randle make quicker decisions. And Tibbs in his offense, because of the limited shooting that we have, there's a lot of dribble handoffs. And Randle seems to have worked out a nice sweet spot, especially with him and RJ since they play together the most and play the most minutes. That dribble handoff is working for those two really well in particular. But it's nice to see Julius Randle doing his thing. He's always had this potential. And I said last season that Julius Randle was one of these players that have yet to find an NBA team to make a home and actually grow and build with. Sort of in a similar situation Dennis Smith Jr. is in. Except Julius Randle has always shown that he has flashes of potentially being that guy. And make no mistake about it, Julius Randle, especially when we signed him last season, he represented a very unique opportunity for the Knicks. Because we struck out in some of the bigger names in free agency, he presented an opportunity for us to take advantage of another team's mistakes, aka the Lakers' Magic Johnson just letting Julius Randle go for nothing. It gave us a chance to flip him to becoming a very key contributing piece to a team. The same way sort of other teams had flipped other players that used to be on the Knicks, aka Trevor Ariza, Tim Thomas, and recently Justin Holiday. We've seen these guys leave the Knicks and other teams lucked up and got these guys and they became big time contributors. And for once, it looks like this shit could flip our way with Julius Randle. Now, let's also keep in mind that Julius Randle is on his final year of a contract that's very incentive-based. He does have up to $1 million extra in bonuses if he makes the All-Star game, All-Defensive team, or if the Knicks make the playoffs. And we also got to look at the fact that Leon Rose and his front office team used their lottery pick on a power forward. So when Toppin comes back, I like to see how this dynamic plays out. Maybe they move Julius to the five and they play together, but I don't want to jump the gun on anything. But for now, I'm just enjoying the way Randall is playing. It's good to see that he's cutting down on some of these turnovers. It's still scary as fuck to watch him dribble the ball up and down the court. Because we all know, man, it's a matter of time before he turns that shit over. But it's always good to see guys improving under our watch, especially due to the fact that the media always trying to apply pressure on the Knicks to get a superstar. Remember this past offseason when there was pressure on us to get Russell Westbrook? Now look at us. We potentially got Randall's game up, and then Russell Westbrook is doing him in Washington with their 2-6 and six record. Like I always tell you guys, don't believe the hype.